in pursuit of sustained growth with job creation, groundbroken for supply chain management and manufacturing facility, and join our Chick V and Ebola public education campaign. I'm Simone Wolf with Jamaica House Weekly. Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller officially opened and participated in a high level Caribbean forum organized by the International Monetary Fund and the Ministry of Finance last week. Representatives from the IMF and other multilateral agencies, as well as regional leaders, spent two days discussing ways of unlocking economic growth in the Caribbean. Special attention was paid to energy, tax regimes for investment, and financial sector resilience. In her address, Mrs. Simpson Miller cautioned that only sustained growth would significantly lift the standard of living within the region. Without jobs and successful business ownership, our people will have no hope. As such, she said her administration was determined to encourage the rise of a new business class in Jamaica. Achieving appreciable, sustainable and equitable economic growth in Jamaica, coupled with job creation, must be the prize for the extreme sacrifices our people have been making in our efforts to put our economy on the right track once and for all. The government sees this launch as a step forward for Kingston Wharves Limited, a big step forward for the development of the logistics hub, Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller was speaking last Wednesday at the groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of the Total Logistics Facility at Newport West in Kingston. The 160,000 square foot warehouse is to be operated as a 24 hour facility offering supply chain management and manufacturing. With construction to begin next month, about 500 Jamaicans are expected to be employed when the facility opens in January 2016. In more somber news, Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller expressed deep sympathies this weekend to the family and friends of Jamaica Chamber of Commerce President Francis Kennedy. 74-year-old Kennedy passed away Sunday in the American state of Florida from heart failure. In a statement, Mrs. Simpson Miller said the island had lost a giant in the field of commerce and business. On Heroes Day 2014, Francis Kennedy was awarded the Order of Distinction Commander Class for his contribution to business. It was collected on his behalf by his wife Marjorie. Minister responsible for information, Senator Sandra Faulkner, last week called on the advertising and media sectors to join government's public education campaign for chikungunya and Ebola. By applying your creative talents to craft messages with impact, you can help build the public awareness that is necessary to contain the chick V and prevent the entry of the Ebola virus to our shores. Our campaign can benefit significantly from your message design skills and creativity. The minister was speaking at the Advertising Agencies Association of Jamaica's annual media luncheon. She used the occasion to laud the island's advertising sector for its adherence to a high standard of ethics in the promotion of business, goods and services. On Sunday, Minister Faulkner joined the Caribbean Institute of Media and Communications, CARMAC, in their celebration of 40 years of training quality media practitioners. The minister, who's a CARMAC alum, said the regional institution had played a powerful role in developing the media and communications industry. And the information minister spent some time with another institution last week. This time, she shared some words of encouragement with students of the Northern Caribbean University. I am here to tell you this afternoon to believe in yourself. Do not listen to the voices of despair and gloom. What if our Prime Minister listened to those who told her she was not good enough? What if she listened to those who tried to destroy her dreams and aspirations? Her story of perseverance, hard work and integrity can be an inspiration to those of you who for one reason or another would dare to think otherwise. You can accomplish what you will. 730 students were honored at the university's 2014 Honors Convocation on October 23. 
And finally, Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller recently welcomed British businessman Sir John Beckwith to Jamaica House. Sir John was on a five day visit to the island during which he launched Youth Sport Trust Jamaica. The leadership project assists PE teachers, coaches, community sports leaders, and young leaders to develop themselves. The trust expects to reach 250,000 young Jamaicans by 2017. Mrs. Simpson Miller thanked Sir Beckwith for choosing Jamaica and encouraged him to invest in other areas of sport on the island. And that's it for Jamaica House Weekly. Join us next time for more of the stories coming out of the office of the Prime Minister.